So let's see. Lightning proof, that's good. Ward, 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 ward. So I'm gonna get everyone involved in my battles, by the way. Um, water strike is good where we are. It's not good in the next section. Hmm, water strike. I'm not, I'm not against every enemy. Um, eh. Alright, so I'm just gonna really quickly customize these. Um, yeah, these yellow, yellow things. Like, you know, magic. Magic, uh, plus three percent defense. Yeah. So I'm gonna quickly do that. <coughs> now, when I level up, I get everyone involved in my battles, because that's what you should do, you know? At least that's what I do. That's all. Um, I gotta be careful not to go up too too far, because then a cutscene will happen. Yeah. Yeah. So I just gotta get into the rhythm here. I'm not under leveled, I don't think. Gotta get everyone involved in the battles. You know, like you just kind of. Once like ten minutes go by and you face the same enemies again and again. It's just kind of gets a little quicker. Now that Riku's in your party, it just it just takes longer. Some people you just cycle in real quick. I mean, I, don't know. I think I should be streaming. <coughs> I should be streaming more Blitzball. I don't know about the leveling up stuff. That's really, really boring. But I don't know. We need a new subject to talk about. I still haven't learned warrior for some of these people. This is how I'm backed up. I do need to level up. Like, if I were to stop the stream right now, I'm definitely not going to bed now. If I were to stop the stream right now, I would, uh, I would watch Arrow. I've been watching Arrow and The Flash. Uh, you know, back to back. But you guys should know that because of my Facebook postings. By the way, the casting for The Flash, at least some of it really pisses me off. Amanda Waller is god-awful. And when The Huntress was on for her couple episodes, she was terrible. I get, like, you know, hey, let's, we need to appeal The Flash and The Arrow to 30-year-olds out there. No, no. I know who their target audience is. I very much understand. But, uh, why is everyone so young? You know? Like, I used to watch, uh... I used to watch the... I, I think I got everyone in here but Lulu. I used to watch the, um... Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. Everyone wasn't young back then. Everyone wasn't young. You know, I mean, I was really... I was kid of kid old Dave. How old was Dean Kane then? 
You need a light? He was probably in his 20s, you know? Or upper 20s, right? Are you? Ooh, maybe even his 30s. I don't know. He's definitely older than the, uh, the actors that play the, the Flash. Or uh, Green Arrow, man. Uh, the thing. I'm, I'm very happy they gave him that mask. Finally. I'm in uh, season 3. I'm doing season 3 of Arrow and season 1 of Flash now. I'm going back and forth. I was gonna die. I used water on you before, didn't Go I? Go with the flow. Whatever. I just talked that way. Someone said Dave feels so old. I'm 32. Is that old? I don't know. No, but seriously, some of the casting is ridiculous in that show, man. Huntress. And uh, I was a big fan of Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, you know? Good old cartoons. Uh, just Amanda Waller is just shit. Ugh, it's just way because she plays a big role in season three. For those of you who have not, I need to figure out what I'm doing here. For those of you who have not watched those shows, I think you should. And I remember starting Arrow season one. And I was borderline giving up on it. I really was, because there's just a lot of, like, stupid high school type drama. And it just, like, it's really, like, I was borderline, man. Um, I was this close to ditching. I was this close to ditching. I was going to put on something else. And I just stuck with it. I went down to Florida for a couple days on a business trip, I guess we'll call it. Uh, personal matter. And, uh... I gotta get into my battle groove here. And, and I kept watching it, and it just it gets better, and then season two hits its stride pretty damn well. Season three isn't ter season three is not terrible or anything, but you know. It's not as good. Season two really hits its stride. And Flash is cool, because it's different. It's it's very different from the arrow, so it's like uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, hey, let's still watch this one, but th oh, this is great because it's so different, and it's nice to have something different, too. Because they go together pretty well, and uh, I watched those two right after finishing Daredevil, which is another superhero show, of course, but way different, man. Way different, and it's, it's definitely better. I totally approve of Daredevil. That show is pretty damn good. I was very pleasantly surprised with uh, the quality of that show. There's, there's like, there's some lows, but it remains pretty damn good throughout the whole thing. And someone mentioned Smallville. I was actually contemplating starting with Smallville and then going to Arrow and uh, Flash, but I haven't seen Smallville. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna give that one a watch. After I'm finished with the, the two I'm watching now, I was gonna go to Smallville because I never saw it. Here, it's like what eight seasons or something, eight, ten seasons or something. I don't know. My Did I get everyone involved? I don't think I got Titus involved. So if you haven't seen Daredevil, go check that out, man. It's pretty damn good. I was very impressed. And uh, I would, I would recommend Flash. And I would recommend uh, um, uh, Arrow. Bring it on. And now they're making a. Uh, they got a new one coming out, which uh, what is it called? The uh, Heroes of Tomorrow thingy, whatever. Someone, someone write it in the box for me. I think he can inflict these guys with darkness, and it's gonna have uh, Arrow and Flash and the Atom and. Uh, you know, a couple other dudes. I think it has, it has to do with uh, time travel. I, I saw the preview. Um, yeah, time traveling, and it has to do with... Oh, God, what's his name? Why isn't it coming to me? Vandal Savage, right? Right? And I know all these characters. I, I didn't read any of these... I didn't do, like, superhero comic stuff when I was a kid, but I was all about the cartoon shows, and I know all these characters from the animated stuff throughout the 90s and up till, you know, up till the present. 
So that's where I got all my information from, pretty much. So I'm definitely looking forward to uh, the Legends of Tomorrow, man. That's gonna be fun. So yeah, while they're while the CW stuff, their tar their target audience for a younger crowd, like teenager stuff, I get it. It's still it's fine. So I recommend you guys check them out if you're like borderline, you know. What are these guys weak against? Don't look so shocked. And they got like a Supergirl pilot or whatever coming out on CBS. Ugh. You know, I'm talking, we're having good conversations, but it really isn't totally easy to do that and do well in these random battles. I'm like maybe slightly below where I should be at this point, but I should be fine. Like, I, I could use a couple of levels here, ugh. But it really does get distracting talking about all this. And now I have no idea who to move, to, who to move in and out of my party. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Riku, can I get you the, the fuck out of my party? I said this on the beginning of my stream. Who's next? I didn't look. Oh, he's such an asshole! You guys can't see who goes next because my webcam is covering up the bar for me. Okay, finally! Waka's. Volleyball is pretty weak against this thing, as you can see. I don't think I get Kamari involved. Yeah, I find it's a little annoying to strike a good conversation about stupid crap. You know, this just comes to my head. Not my head. That's how it's done. And level up. This ball's a little easier. Oh no. What else, man? I've been plowing through some shows, because, you know, lately I'm like, you know, I need to watch some more shows that I haven't watched. I just watched Nifty Puck all the way through for the first time, and, you know, like with all shows, you know, you know, it's, it's pretty wild, wacky, and ridiculous, but that show is pretty good. And then it just, it declines and it gets really stupid at the end. But that's like a lot of shows, man. See, what's nice is get two things out of the way, and then, okay, we need Lulu, right? We need Lulu, so we'll just do this real quick. Defend, defend, just get, get them in there, get them the experience, whatever. This is the way to really do it, real. Okay, you hit me, Lulu. The water is on the bottom left. Of course, Game of Thrones is a good one. Someone's in the chat box talking about Game of Thrones. Naturally, Game of Thrones. Who's not watching that, though, anyway? Hey, you know what Game of Thrones always does a good job with? Episode 9s. Yeah? Episode 9 just finished up. We all we all watched Episode 9. Don't they always do Episode 9 real good? What is it? What is it about that? Episode 9s. All the 9s are always good. The second to the last episode of the season. Second to last. Episode 9s. What's up with that, man? Someone wrote in the chat box uh, <clears throat> about Orange is the New Black. I watched the first three episodes. Uh, and uh, I didn't hate it, but I, it just didn't keep my attention. You know? I just I gave up on it. I gave up on it like I thought of giving up on Arrow. Maybe I could have stuck with it. Maybe I'll go back to that one. And then there's some that, like, uh, you know, pretty much all the Netflix shows are great, though. You know, like Daredevil Now and um, House of Cards.
hit him. All the Netflix stuff is pretty good. Netflix usually does a good job. Someone wrote in the chat box, Sons of Anarchy. Uh, I was in the Sons of Anarchy and Justified, but I gotta tell you, I think both of those shows just totally collapsed in the last season, and I actually watched all of Sons of Anarchy. I watched all of it except for, like, the last several episodes. I just stopped, because it just got... You know, you know what the problem with that show was? In my opinion, is every character, every character was totally unlikable. And it's just, it got you so... Just... Gross to watch. I just, I just... I just had no appeal to me at the end, man. I was just tired of it. I was tired of all their bullshit. So I guess we're talking about shows now. And I'm not talking about certain some. I used to stream Breaking Bad back in the day on my live stream channel. And some of you may know that. Some of you were like, Dave, thanks for introducing me to that show. Some of you, you know, you're new to the scene a little bit, maybe. I don't know. You don't remember me streaming on live stream. Oh, God, what am I doing here? Ooh, Kamari. Who's you on him more? So, who have I not gotten involved here? Like I said, like, doing talking all this stuff. And, I don't know. It's not my... It's not... Talking during video games isn't the easiest thing in the world, man. Let me tell you. Keep that guy in the sword. Have I gotten everyone involved? Playing a game you've never played before, and it's like a third-person shooter. It's not easy, man. <laughs> so yeah, all all the big ones, all the big shows that are currently airing right now, you know, I'm watching them all, basically. Of course. How much closer can I get? I can get to the save sphere, right? Yeah, I'll be f okay. Good. I'm gonna do a save. Oop. Wait. Oh my god, it's four in the morning. What am I gonna do? I'm supposed to go out to dinner. If I wasn't drinking any caffeine, I would've been working out. Think later, Yuna. Probably gonna crash at some point. Hard. Or daily. We've been streaming for two hours. I probably won't be going over the three hour mark. It's hot in this room, let me tell ya. Leveling up is just so important. And if I can say the word, the words, the phrase, back in the day again, back in the day, we didn't have like multiple monitors and laptops off to the side where you could just do this level grind and stuff. And then just, you know, watch a little arrow, you know, just kind of, all right. Oh, oh. So serious moment again. Oh, we're whining about what to do again. Okay, all right. Just kill that guy. There we go. You know, that's not. You know, we had the one TV, and like you're looking at it, and if you want to learn all the espers for for lock and sell us and save and sign or whatever, you have to. You just gotta play, man. I mean, yeah, I guess you could you could drag two big block TVs and put them next to each other, but. Who's doing that? I don't think, uh, I don't think that was common. But although, you could do that, couldn't you? Alright, let's get to it. You could do that, uh... See ya. uh what did I 
and not Lulu. Uh, at least I'm doing something here. You could just get two big, uh, big block TVs together, couldn't you? Put them together? That would be interesting, man. You boot up Final Fantasy 3 on the SNES, you know, and you're leveling up. You're learning all the espers, right? And then you got the big TV right next to it. Because you had picture in picture, but didn't picture in picture not, like, work with... Remember, remember how picture in picture in picture... Like what you see with the webcam right now. Picture in picture used to be this big thing. It really used to be a big deal and then it totally went away. Like no one gave a shit. Even before technology came along. Remember how big picture in picture used to be? Like you're watching watching a football game and then on the other channel you have another game. It's it's like what they do with the NFL uh, Red Zone or whatever, right? And yeah. That's that's pretty awesome and all, but I'm just talking about basic old picture in picture. Yeah, man. I don't think you could do that with with uh, like the video game, like TV video one and two. I don't think it, and even if it did, you couldn't hear both audio. So, no, I don't think it worked. You, you would have to get two TVs and put them together. You know, like if you wanted to ever play Wipeout for the Sony PlayStation. You needed two TVs and two PlayStations to do multiplayer, I believe. That was the stupidest... What were they thinking of that one? Yeah, you needed two PlayStations? You had to hook them up? Never did it, but... That really pissed me off. Oh, it's about time, Block. Alright, we need to get Lulu and Orn involved, I think. Well then, what next? What next? Shut up. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I was doing some level grinding before I streamed in another Final Fantasy game. What what Final Fantasy game? Why would I be doing that? It's Final Fantasy 7. Why would Dave be, be leveling up in Final Fantasy 7 for no reason? Someone said in the chat, do Blitzball in 10-2? No. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't even... I still don't understand that one, because it was terrible. They had to change it up, because they always have to change everything. This dude always picks on the weak person in your party. I don't think it's a coincidence, man. I don't want to do that. Oh no, I think I'm coming down.
don't hit Riku. This ends now. And by the way, Ori, it didn't end. It didn't end now. Did you hear him? He said that. Why would he say it if he didn't finish him off? That's strange. I was in a good groove too, leveling up in the FF7, right out of uh, in, in the Union Harbor area. I was in like a good, just like grinding and grinding. I'm not feeling it right now. I'm just kind of all like nah, slow. <clears throat> this ends now. Why does he? Why does he keep saying that? <sighs> Damn it! Almost got away from me. Someone's in the chat asking me about if I played uh, more a link between worlds since that flight to Vegas. No. I should, though, shouldn't I? There's not enough time, man. I gotta level up in this stupid game, right? It's like homework. Ugh. I might go back to Blitzball. Can we... Raise a hands? Ow. Lay there on my head, knowing I was gonna get hit by lightning. Uh, I'm not feeling. Uh, I might be coming down. I might be getting tired. Let's do one more bliss ball match here. Oh, oh, there you go. Go back for more blitz ball. What do you guys think? See, we've been focus. I'm with Titus. Ugh. We talked a lot about crazy conversations, haven't we? Weird stuff. You never know what Dave's gonna talk about. I like how the music gradually fades. I wish there was another tournament. I also wish I was playing someone besides the Ronso Fangs. You know, you can always do um, that game where you pick your opponent. Can you pick? What's it called? Uh, exhibition match? Alright, um, set our marks real quick. We're just gonna set our marks. Jasu, we really need to teach you something. Alright. Let's learn that. He still can't learn grip gloves, man. 